So this is the situation this phone has gotten me into. I am on the floor right here and I am charging. It's using this wall. Uh, I'm here to see Thor Ragnarok, but I'm gonna be sitting here for like maybe 20 minutes just to wait for this phone to charge up because I don't want it to die on me on my way home. I just got home from college. I am fighting with every fiber of my body to stay awake and not fall asleep. I always fall asleep after college. Turn on the studio lights. So I'm gonna take this moment to talk about the movie I just saw yesterday or last night. If you didn't already know, I'm a huge movie fan or movie buff or cinephile. And I am especially into superhero movies. Um, such as Justice League, which is coming out later this week, which I'm also going to watch. It comes out tomorrow. I keep on f But Thor Ragnarok, I feel like, because every Marvel movie, they don't really take themselves too seriously, but especially with the Thor movies, I feel like Marvel takes a lot of liberties, and Thor Ragnarok is just, it's so much fun. Would definitely watch Thor Ragnarok, even if you're not a fan of Thor. But tomorrow, I am going to see Justice League. And I am so excited for that because I'm a huge DC fan and I've been waiting for Justice League to come out for a long time. As a kid, I loved watching the Justice League cartoon show. It was like, I don't know, I still like to go back and watch clips from time to time. It's just, it holds a special place in my heart. Everyone's always arguing about whether DC is better or whether Marvel is better. And honestly, like this month we get Thor Ragnarok and Justice League. That is so good. Why can't we just have both? The microphone came in, but I wasn't here to pick it up, so they left it at a drop-off location. Once this phone is done charging, I'm gonna go around the whole place, pick up all the things that I need to form this new audio, this new audio setup. So I went out and got the packages. Uh, these are the accessories for the new microphone, and this should be the microphone itself. And just, I don't know if it was UPS that did this, or if it was, the H or the access point that they delivered to, but this is terrible. First, the accessories. This is the one from Newer. So this is the XLR to 3.5 millimeter audio jack cable. There it is. This is a holster for my Zoom H1. I can wear the Zoom H1 without having to put it into my pocket and that creates discomfort. Check for hidden damage. Yeah, uh, that. See, I don't even need a knife because it's already open. Here's the microphone, at least it's wrapped. Let's see now. Sony ECM44B. Nice. So here is the microphone. We get a wind. Okay, this is a clip. It's a foam windscreen. It's a nice, like, feels like a leather box. And this is a big XLR connection. And I believe this should twist open to reveal the battery compartments. Yep, there it is. It takes a AA battery, and then here is the lav mic itself. Nice and small. So we connect the XLR connections there and then 3.5 millimeter audio actually first i want to test this holster that looks kind of stupid maybe like that i mean that that kind of works clap to sync the audio now i am testing you are now hearing the audio from the shotgun microphone this is the rode video mic pro and then now i can switch over to my other camera right there this is the onboard camera microphone from like three meters away this one's gonna sound the worst Now you're hearing the audio from the cheap $3 newer microphone. This is like a generic microphone.
Today is Friday and my, my phone is hanging on by its last thread, but check this out. Delivery is in progress. That's right there is the Pixel 2 XL. I wanted to get a Friday video going this week. It didn't happen. I overestimated how much time I had this week, so. But I did get to test a new microphone. I did get to pick it up and everything. Um, I'm gonna start next week, but if I didn't miss this package because I did just get home, so it, there's a good chance that it did just come and then leave, then I would definitely have a Pixel 2 unboxing in this vlog. So just earlier today, my Nexus 6P boot looped me once again for the last time. Because today, I have the package here, and I also have my SIM ejection tool. So without further ado, we're going to unbox the Nexus, the Google Pixel 2 right now. Oh, what did they do here? Team Pixel has the Google Assistant built in, Google Pixel 2 XL, the black model. Right away we have the phone, which we will set aside for later. Remove that. That says, yay, welcome to Team Pixel. And down here is French because I have the Canadian version. Another SIM ejection tool. Oh, I didn't need my old one. I always forget that new phones come with SIM ejection tools. This right here is a dongle. USB-A to USB-C. Uh, I think this is for switching from iPhones over to the Pixel. Standard USB Type-C to USB Type-C cable. And then here you have a headphone jack adapter in case you want to keep your headphone jack. Lastly, this is a, another Type-C USB charging brick. The one I had for my 6T was marginally smaller. Okay, and that's it. So let's boot up the phone. Put the SIM card in and set it up. Google. Oh, you know what? The blue shift is very apparent on this on this device. Like, that was the first day I noticed, wow. Can you guys see that? Okay, well I'm gonna go ahead and use my phone for the rest of this night. And tomorrow, in this same vlog episode, I'm going to tell you my thoughts on the Nexus, on the Google Pixel 2 XL, for now, my first impressions. I'm going to dedicate the last segment of this vlog to talking about the Pixel 2 XL and my first impressions of it. So by this point, I've had approximately 24 hours of use on it and I think I have had enough time to form a first opinion about it. So first of all, let's address the blue shift. At first I thought it was really bad, but maybe I've gotten used to it. Maybe there was a software update, but as of right now, it doesn't look that bad at all. In fact, it's not distracting. I think the biggest issue in that department is the inconsistency across other devices. Some devices have a lot of blue shift and some don't. Uh, I would say mine has moderate blue shift, but I've seen pictures and videos on Reddit of Pixel 2 XL models that have absolutely no blue shift. And it's just, it's a little disheartening to know that they're not all equal. But onto the performance of the phone, battery life is amazing. Um, it's, you can see projections of how long the phone thinks it can last um, throughout the day. So right now I'm at 100% and based on my usage it calculates 18 hours of use, which is insane. I don't totally expect it to last 18 hours. But I'm someone who came from the Huawei Nexus 6P and this phone had a battery drain and boot loop issue. So just knowing that I can actually leave the house with my phone for the day without worrying about lo total loss of communication is just, it's very relieving. The design of the phone, um, it totally reminds me of my 6P as well. It's more similar to the Pixel 1, but honestly they all have pretty similar designs. I am a big fan of this finish on the back over the aluminum. It's really grippy actually, I have, you know, I'm not really gonna worry about dropping my phone uh, even without a case, even though I did order a case, although I have to wait two months for the case to show up because I ordered, I ordered the D brand grip case. Another thing, when I, when I ordered the phone, I thought that the, so this is a picture I took, uh, I thought the bezels would be a lot more of an issue because it's not totally edge to edge and I wanted a totally edge to edge phone, but seeing it here in person and just holding it, 
it's really not that bad. It definitely doesn't look as nice as something like the Galaxy S8 or LG G6 or the Essentials phone or any of those, but if you're worried about the not totally edge to edge display, but you know, you're a big fan of Google, um, I wouldn't really worry about the bezels because especially looking at something like my Nexus 6P, this is definitely an improvement no matter what. Plus you get these nice, front facing speakers. Um, other than that, what else can I say? The sna Snapchat is a lot less laggy. In fact, actually, it's really smooth. Snapchat is known for having bad optimization with Android, but with this phone, there is absolutely no lag in Snapchat so far. Maybe it will start occurring later on, and I will definitely let you know that in my full review if I make one, but as of right now, one day into using this phone, no lag on Snapchat. Performance is great. Also the camera, I haven't tried recording video with the camera yet. Pictures look phenomenal, but let's try recording a vlog entry with this camera before I end the vlog. So now I am recording using the Google Pixel 2 XO. This is my main camera. This phone has optical plus electronic stabilization. So let's give that a test. I'm gonna try walking around a little bit. Uh, it should look almost like a glide cam, which is really impressive. I've seen the footage and I've been very impressed, especially since they have these features in 4K. We can try getting some close-up shots as well. So see is focused on the camera. Hand is nice and blurry in the back. But yeah, this is recording using the Pixel 2 XO. Uh, I'm gonna see how the quality looks like after this, but I'm expecting it to be pretty nice. Before we go, um, I saw Justice League on Thursday with my friends and honestly, I thought it was a pretty good movie. There is a lot of criticism about it on the internet. Maybe I'm biased and probably biased, but I'm also a huge DC fan. I've watched the Justice League shows when I was little and this movie, seeing the whole team brought together on screen was like magic. 